Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing great this week. This is the final days before Christmas, so we're having a Christmas extravaganza almost every day this week, uh, starting with wearing our Christmas sweaters. So of course, you know, I don't, they don't call them Christmas sweaters anymore. They call them ugly sweaters. I don't know why. I think they're really anyway, cute. Anyway guys, I wanted to bring you a different type of video. I have just been approached by um, one of the ladies here that works here. She's retired. She holds a master's in I don't know how many different subjects and she's just found And um, she approached me about selling some of her jewelry, um, costume jewelry that belonged to her mother. Just recently passed. And um, she knows that we sell on eBay. Myself and another teacher here sell on eBay. And the other teacher who sells on eBay but does not know much about jewelry. So, and then I was thinking, I found so many cute things in here. I said, well, maybe I could just keep one of these little items <laughs> as a, a little pay. But no, I'm not going to charge her anything. And I'm going to go ahead and try to list it as a, a lot. And that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. I want your opinion. Whether you think, I have done lot jewelry and you do sell it quickly but sometimes you make more money the other way. But I just feel like some people don't really know how eBay works and how it sometimes takes time to, to relist and uh, to individually picture everything. So that's why I'm leaning towards the lot. Anyway, look at the box she brought it in. It's a little shoe box and it says jewels. And uh, it's just an amazing array of things in here, starting with just this little container that I mean, she said this was her mom so I'm sure she hasn't wanted to even you know throw anything away but this is just a very very heavy quilted and it's embroidered and look how it's coming apart really honored that she would would let me do this for her some of this stuff is still packaged and uh, just beautiful just take a look at this jewelry I mean it's just so well made and this is the piece that I liked we're gonna go through this into this is the one that I was saying I really want to just keep this or buy it from her because it's so pretty it's coins and it was just a pendant and I don't think it's real coinage or anything but isn't that gorgeous and we're still tagged obviously well this is Liz Claiborne this is probably from the 80s but I mean everything from broken rosaries here Crystal Rogers, Liz Claiborne to Pearl. Oh, look at this. Look how precious this is. It's a bell with some holly berries, and this is glass. We're going to look through all of this, and I want your opinion. I want you to tell me whether you think I should put it as a lot or whether you think I should price everything individually. Come back, and we'll take a closer look at jewels. I, I don't. No, but I can only imagine how it feels to have to sell your mother's things. And I thought that she has to, but, you know, uh, people handle grief the way they handle it. And um, sometimes they want to get rid of things. Sometimes they just want to clean up. Sometimes they want to hold up, hold on to everything. And it's a very, very subjective thing. And who am I to judge, right? But I'm very, very happy to help her to let you in on it because this is something I've never done. I rarely sell for other people. I've never done it. I know a lot of people who charge about 10% of whatever the sale may be or more, depending, because it is a lot of work. But I Hey, guys, I'm back with the jewelry. I was hoping to do sort of an overhead cam because I got that new stand that I told you about, but I just can't seem to get it to where I'm confident that it, you will be able to see everything. Okay, so here's one. This is a little strand of um, linked pearls, really pretty color. Yeah. But anyway, that's one thing there. And look at these gorgeous earrings. These are a vintage Sarah Coventry and they have sort of green beads. That, this is the one I showed you earlier. Isn't that precious? This one's also stamped. It's like it may say sterling silver on it. Art Deco style earring with sort of um, Marcus. That really pretty. Um, Liz Claiborne, uh, mineral type beads, and then we had a crystal rosary. A lot of times these rosaries are sterling silver too, especially the old Italian ones. And indeed, this is sterling silver. I may have to buy this off of her. Really, really love it. I may have to. See, this is one of the reasons why I want to sell it separately because, um, you know, I can get a lot more for this sterling silver. It looks like it was made by hand. 
These are crystal wire back earrings. The shape on these are so unique. Really almost like a freeform crystal shape on that. Beautiful. Again, I may have to set aside the damaged jewelers. This looks like a closure of some sort, and it almost looks like gold as well. And you know, dam the I do sell a lot of the damaged jewelry. Chain, I can bet this is sterling. It has a little fun ring, and it looks like it's gold. Little wire ring. Pretty. Love that. And here's just some little earrings with stars and a moon. Very pretty, though. They actually have planets. Oh my gosh, these are cute. These look like bronze stamp jewelry. I have to look through some pretty rose gold that's also in need of repair here with little ball. Just missing pieces. Precious little pendant, guys. It is a locket. And it's got a blue stone. It actually looks like a a blue topaz. But I can't get it. Oh, there it goes. It is a little locket. Look how it almost looked like. I think it might be Black Hill silk. It can tarnish. This tag, one piece, 13 cents. Oh gosh, look at that, 13 cent little price tag. I wonder what she bought. Probably jewelry. That's what we spend our money on. It's an old vintage bobby pin too. Look at the tip on this bobby pin, y'all. Can you see that? It's teeny. Where some of the jewelry was. Coming apart. All right, let's see what else she has. Oh, some strand of uh, pearls here. See, some of this stuff I'm gonna put, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do lots, but as far as the finer costume pieces, I will lot them together and then I'll take out the damage, probably sell the sterling separately. Let me know, guys, if you ever bid on anything like I'd this. I'd really like to know. This is very heavy crystal. It's definitely on the vintage side. So I'll put that. Oh, here's a little contemporary piece. Super heavy, though. These are glass beads and really nice closure on here. Look at that huge clasp there. Hook. Really pretty. Yeah, I would probably put that with the contemporary piece. My friend and I, well, my co-worker, and we fell in love with this one. And it might be missing some beads, and this is why sometimes I like to lock them together, is because I don't want to have to explain, you know, that some are damaged and some are not, and, and tell you which ones aren't and which ones aren't. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? That's like an Aurora Brialis or whatever it's called. Aurora Brialis, I think it's called. And tiny little seed pearls and filigree and just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Gosh, look at this compact, guys. It's beautiful. It's heavy. It's got $15 written on it. She probably bought it at a thrift store. It's probably thrifted, but look at that. Look at the closure on there. It is really, really heavy, and it's got design all around, all in there. Look how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's really plastic. Oh, I guess the powder part was covered. And of course it has the mirror and then like a little plastic part there. I love that. In awe of all of this stuff. Oh my god. People often ask me, how do you know when it's vintage? How do you know which is vintage? Just look at the workmanship on that. That's how you know. They just don't do it like that anymore. Workmanship is not there. The details are not there on the modern rhinestone pieces. You can just tell right off the bat. Look at this, look at the clasp on these pearls three strands of pearls and that's going to be in the vintage lot there a gold and a silver thimble any pressure sure. another one. these are all sterling there's another sterling charm but i can't quite tell these are huge oversized i have to find them see i'm going to put the earrings aside and see if i can find the uh, mates to them a stamp it looks like it says sterling and it's probably uh, vermeil with a little gold wash over it. Look at that American flag. Isn't that gorgeous? Old earring, of course. Yeah. Angel. Okay, let's see what else we got. Guys, this video is going to go on a long time. I'm sure I'll have to chop These, it These uh, rhinestones do sometimes turn. It looks like this one may have turned a little. Put that in the broken jewelry section. Here's one earring. I hope I find the other one. But what a better way to spend my lunch and just browse through her 
collection of her mother's jewelry. Another little angel charm. I believe all of these were probably in that pearl necklace because it looks like she broke it and or was going to maybe redo it, maybe told to do it and then or asked to do it and then she said well would you like to do it because I think you could probably set it up more and you know list it with a little bit more um, know-how so that you can get you know the full value of it this is another broken piece but I will list it I'm going to put a lot of broken jewelry together and like even if it has a little piece of gold on it people will buy it there. Another strand of pearls. I think I'll put that in the contemporary. No, I think I'll put that in the vintage area. Look at this little strand of rhinestones. Sort of Aurora Royalis or whatever it's called. This is a pearl watch. Inserts of pearls. And I don't know if it's working. Probably not. But sometimes these things just need batteries. Earring. Another vintage one with a blue stone. And a little uh, screw back. And a petite... Pearl. Oh, here's the one that my neighbor and I fell in love with as well. This is very, very heavy. I don't think it's sterling, but I could be mistaken. But it doesn't really look like it to me at all. But it's just amazing. Look at that bracelet, guys. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty, but... Believe me, I want to buy every single one of these. And I don't need to. I need to sell what I have. Oh, I love this little scarab one. This is just a Liz Claiborne. Still tagged, guys. This lady liked jewelry. And uh, just like a little multi stone. A little ring with some missing rhinestones. And here's the one that I told you I fell in love with. It says one penny... It does have it on both sides, but that doesn't mean they're real coins. I don't think they are. I think it's just a contemporary piece. But again, this is probably going to go into the vintage lot. And I think it'll, even though I loved it, look how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. But I just, I don't even have time to wear all the jewelry that I have. So, of course, I'm going to um, sell it for this. It's just another little contemporary piece. Uh, multi gold the watch. This is broken, so I will put this in the broken lot. And I love these color pearls, and these are very heavy. They are busted, though. Looks like they're busted. Very, very nice closure on here, too. Anyway, so it's two pieces of very nice pearls. Very heavy, but they are broken, so I will put that in the broken pile. And this one I had also showed you. It's called Brooch Galore Why Wear Just One. And then it says, dazzle up your day, and it shows you how you can wear your brooch on your hat or a uh, scarf. This might be a little bit, maybe from the 80s or something, I'm not sure. But a little bunch, uh, a bouquet bunch is what it is. Isn't that pretty? Another broken piece from the pearls. These are super heavy, guys, and they're that champagne color. Love that. Oh, my goodness, what's this? Oh, here's the other pair of earrings. And here is a beautiful brooch. Topaz colored stones on there. Isn't that pretty? Brown and gold and just gorgeous here. Oh, I saw this and I loved it. It's just a little um, key ring. It's from a store that's no longer in our area. Wieners was the name of it. And it's got some glitter and a little cher uh, cherub in there also, a little angel. And a couple more broken pieces. Yeah. So that's it, guys. That is the um, jewelry. And I'm definitely going to do my best to try to get her a sale. All right? You guys let me know what you think, whether you think I should break it all up. I think the only thing really I should take out is probably the sterling silver um, rosary because I really think that will sell fairly well and fairly quickly on eBay. Guys, it was good talking to you. i got to go back to work, and I'll see you all later. Bye.